The afternoon digging through these confidential case files from the Department of Children and Families that date back to 2004, and they show a very long history of abuse claims and investigations, like a report from 2004 when one child claimed Kiyoshana Thomas grabbed her off the toilet, choked her, and then threw her to the floor. The victim told investigators that she is beaten every day. When investigators went to the home, they found it infested with rats and roaches, with maggots in the kitchen. The children told investigators they are fed only one meal a day. And just last month, the report shows investigators going back to the home, a child claiming he was punched in the mouth, head and face. Investigators went on to write all of the children fear their mother and feel unsafe in the home. And they described Thomas as quick-tempered, combative, uncooperative with child protective investigators. And then, earlier this month, investigators realized one child, seen right here, 11-year-old Janiah Thomas, had been missing for nearly a year. A search eventually turned up a small body in a freezer at the grandmother's home. Extensive test results eventually determined the body was Janaya. Now, right now, Thomas is in the Manatee County Jail. She is charged with child abuse and abusing a body. And one more shocking revelation. These documents released today show that Thomas is pregnant again. Right now, ABC Action News reporter Michael Pelusica is looking into these documents and these claims. He'll have the answers tonight on ABC Action News at 11. Back to you.